Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to send email with images in the body. And here we got the output of that code. Contains three text box controls and one button control. The two address I'm adding charan3 at gmail.com. You can add any valid email ID here. In subject sending image in the body the body this is Charan test mail now before send this email let's open my gmail account gmail.com and here I just logged into my gmail account I want to send that email to this Gmail ID. And one more thing, I have not added any image here because I have already added in the coding part. Let's send this email, send. And see here we got a message, mail has been sent successfully. Let's check the email. If we got a new mail, sending image in the body which is the subject see we got the image if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I am creating a new ASP.NET project go to file new project and from the web templates I am selecting web application I am using .NET framework 4.6.1 the application name is send image in body email click ok and from the templates I'm choosing empty click ok and the project created successfully open solution explorer now in this project I am adding one web form page, right click the project name, add new item, I am choosing web form, the web form page name is image send body email, add And here we got the source page of that newly created image send body dot email dot ASPX page. Now between this form tag, I am adding center tag H1. How to send email with image in the body. To Gmail account horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding three text box control one button control and one label control to display the message open toolbox text box control two is a label name break subject copy this one and paste here I'm changing the text box one text to two and the text box ID subject and the last one I'm adding body text box control the text box ID is text body. Now I am adding one button control toolbox button control. I am changing the button label from button to send break 
I'm adding one label control to display the message. The mail has been sent successfully or not. Label. I'm deleting the text property from this label control. Here I forgot to change the body size. Text mode is equals to multi line. Height 350. Width 450. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now switch to the design mode. Double click the send button control. It will generate the button click event. First in this code behind, I'm adding some namespaces to send an email using system.net using system.net.mail and the last one I'm adding that using system dot namespace. After adding these three namespaces, now in the button control I'm adding mail message class mm is equals to new mail message mm dot from address from is equals to new mail address. The mail address takes the email ID, the from address. I'm adding charan 3 k at gmail.com. I want to send mail from this email ID. After that, mm.to.add. I'm adding the two address. The text box is text to dot text. Mm dot subject is equals to text box subject dot text. So now I'm writing the code to add the image in the body section. For that I'm using alternate to view. Image view is an object. Alternate to view dot create alternate to view from string which takes three parameters. Well, first one is a string content. So here I'm adding the, the text box body dot text plus break here I'm adding the image control source is equals to usually we'll write the image path in this source property but instead of the image your path I'm adding CID colon I'm adding the content ID name image path height is equals to 900 and width is equals to thousand let's close this one comma and the second parameter is the content type mimi which i'm adding now and the last third parameter is a string media type which is very important text html now I'm adding the image path using the linked resource class LR is equals to new linked resource which takes the image URL path between double quotes. I'm adding my image URL path. I want to send the image in the body, this image in the body. Let's add this image URL path. LR dot content ID is equals to. I'm adding the content ID of the image path to this linked resource. The next step, I'm adding the linked resource object to this alternative view. So image view dot linker resources dot add the linker resource is the LR mm dot alternative views dot add image view the alternative view 
mm.body is equals to in the body I am adding lr.content id smtp client smtp is equals to new smtp client now the smtp client I am adding the host and port number of the gmail smtp.host is equals to the host name for the gmail smtp.gmail.com and smtp.port number which is 587 for the gmail id after adding the smtp host and port number now i am adding the network credential nc is equals to new network credential and this network credential takes the parameters the username and password of the gmail id I'm adding my Gmail ID username, which is chanantrike at gmail.com, and the password. Just for the security reasons, I'm not providing my real password. But at the time of sending this email, I will change the real credential. SMTP dot enable SSL is equal to true smtp.credentials I'm adding the network credential object and see and the last one I'm adding the send method I'm sending the email using mail message object the last final step when the mail has been sent successfully I want to display the message in the label control for that we have added the label control label one dot text is equals to mail has been sent successfully that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser google chrome And here we got the output of that code contains three text box controls and one button control. The two address I'm adding chalantrika at gmail.com. You can add any valid email ID here. In the subject sending image in the body. The body this is Charan test mail. Now before send this email, let's open my gmail account, gmail.com, and here I just logged into my gmail account, I want to send that email to this gmail id, and one more thing, I have not added any image here because I have already added in the coding part. Let's send this email send and see here we got a message mail has been sent successfully. Let's check the email. If we got a new mail sending image in the body which is a subject. See we got the image. That's it.